Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. Today we're going to be painting this easy cactus painting. It's perfect for kids as well as beginner painters who are new to acrylic painting and who have never painted before. So what we will need is a canvas board. This size is 12 inches by 16 inches, but you can use any size of canvas board or canvas. You can also use a thick watercolor paper. I have my tablecloth protecting my table, a cloth rag, a cup of water. I have a small detail round brush, a number six round brush, a flat one inch brush and a wider flat two inch brush. I have my paint palette. So I have some Mars black, some titanium white, cobalt blue. I have a darker thalo blue as well as a cadmium yellow and a crimson red. You can use any kind of blue, yellow, or red that you have in your paint palette. The colors will look slightly different, but that's okay. So I've gone ahead and I've painted one coat of my background. So I started with a darker thalo blue um, at the top. And then I have added a cobalt blue, which is kind of like a medium mid-tone blue in the middle. And you can just add some water to kind of blend it if you'd like. And then I have added some titanium white mixed with my cobalt blue to kind of create a lighter tone at the bottom of our sky. And again, you can add a little bit of water to mix that together and blend it in. And you want to do a couple coats of your background so that everything is nicely and evenly covered. And just keep layering your colors on top until you're kind of happy with the blending. some more phthalo blue, darker blue at the top here. Okay, so when you're done, you're just going to leave that to dry and then we'll come back to it. So once your paint has dried, you can start by outlining your cacti. You can decide how many you want, how tall they are, fat, skinny. It's great to look at some reference photos online so you can kind of have some idea of the shape or the size of your cacti. You can use chalk to outline your cacti or you can just use black paint on a brush like what I'm doing. So you can dip it in a little bit of water if you want and just get some black on your brush and we'll just start by outlining our cacti. So we're just gonna kind of make some round curvy shapes and some can kind of overlap each other And you might want to have a cool kind of wavy one. So 
So you can kind of play around with it. And again, it helps to look at some pictures. If you make a mistake, don't worry too much about it. All right, so now that you have the basic shapes filled in, you can start filling it in with green. So we're gonna keep this left side of our canvas with lighter colors and the other right side with darker shades of green. So to mix our green, I'm using some cadmium yellow and some cobalt blue. And I'm just gonna start by filling in our cactus shape. You can cover up the outline or you can keep the outline in if you like the way that it looks. And it's good to do a couple coats of paint so that it's really nicely covered. You can add some yellow straight directly on if you'd like. And just kind of follow the curved lines and the curve kind of direction with your brush strokes. So this first cactus is kind of a yellowy one and again you can do your colors different than mine, it doesn't matter. So I've just mixed some kind of extra yellow in with this cactus. Okay. And then I can just clear off some of the paint on my brush onto my other ones. And then my next cactus, I think I'm going to make it a little bit more blue. So this is some phthalo blue that I'm gonna mix in with some of the green that I already have, which is gonna make this nice teal color. So I can go ahead and fill in the next shape. Since this cactus is overlapping the other cactus, I'm just gonna mix some kind of black with the teal color so that it's kind of creating a shadow here. And again, I'm following the kind of curved lines that are in the cactus and not painting side to side. I'm kind of curving it. And then we can mix some more of our teal color. So you, again, you can use whatever blue or green you have. It's okay if it looks slightly different. We're just kind of painting each cactus its own kind of shade of green. And again, you can add a little bit of black in with that green because this next cactus is also kind of overlapping. So you can just follow these lines to create a shadow. And I don't have a lot of paint on my brush. I'm just kind of blending it together so it doesn't look like a harsh, thick black line. Okay, so we have a kind of yellowy green, we have blue green. Our next green, we're going to whoop, mix some white with it. So I've mixed some yellow, some blue, 
and then some of my titanium white. So you can go ahead and paint in your next cactus. So if you wet your brush, it's a lot easier to get a nice curved line. And just keep filling in your shape. You can just kind of wet your brush and slowly kind of curve it and drag it. Okay, and then so to make it a little bit darker, like it has a kind of shadow, we're just gonna make, mix a little bit of black with the green that we made. And just, you can paint a kind of straight line down the middle. And this will kind of make it look like it has a kind of 3D ridge to it. Perfect. Awesome. And now our last cactus, we're going to mix, I think, a little bit more of our yellow. And you can mix a tiny bit of red in with your green, which is going to make the color a little bit more dull. You can mix a little bit of black with the yellow to make a kind of shadow around this other cactus because it's overlapping. And just kind of layer the colors, keep the curved lines so that you blend your shadow in. All right. So with our two um, cacti on the end, I think I'm going to add some flowers to it. So you can use your red paint to outline your flower shape, or you can use a piece of chalk if you'd like. So we're just going to think about our flower shape. It kind of comes to a point, sort of two curved lines. 
And you can kind of have it go off the canvas if you would like, or keep it on. And then you can draw the other one on as well. Again, it kind of helps to have a picture that you can reference to. All right. So with our cactus, we're just gonna go ahead and paint that in. So again, this is a kind of crimson red that I have. You might have a different red, that's okay. So I'm just gonna keep my darker red near the bottom. And usually the flowers on a cactus are very bright. So bright oranges, reds, pinks, you could do like purple make it really bright and colorful. So I'm just doing little strokes of the color that you decide near the bottom, the kind of darkest color. And they're not even strokes, they can kind of be little strokes that are different lengths, kind of like blades of grass. Okay, so once you have that, then you can mix in some white. If you'd like. And it's good to have some variety with your flower. So you don't want to just do one plain color. Kind of mix it up in areas. So this is going to be our highlight. And then you can take some yellow with some of your red and make like an orangey color. So just experiment and kind of play around with it. And you can just kind of use little tiny strokes to help blend the colors together. You can dip your brush in water to create a nice smooth edge. And again, I'm just using my small round detail brush so it comes to a nice point. So if the petals are overlapping, you can kind of have like lighter petals on the top and darker petals on the bottom where it's overlapping. Do the same with the other flower. And again, you can decide how many flowers you add. If you want to add flowers to all of them, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to get the color down and then I'm going to let it dry for a little bit so that we can do our second coat. So keep mixing up your colors and just layer the colors until you're happy with how it looks. And you can let some of the blue show through because it kind of acts like a complementary color to orange and it looks kind of cool. So we're going to let that dry and then 
we're going to come back. All right, so now that our paint has dried enough, it's not fully dry, but we can start painting on some details. So you can use your fine detail brush for the flowers. I'm painting in the same direction of the curved lines. And again, I'm just mixing some different colors to create a sense of variety. So you might add some yellow in some areas or some more white and just use little tiny brush strokes to layer the paint. So any part that's maybe showing the canvas, you can just kind of paint over that and do some touch-ups. But it's also a good time to just add some other colors and make it look more interesting. So keep little brush strokes and keep them kind of curved to the shape of the petals. Okay. And when you're painting the edges again, you can just kind of wet your brush and slowly kind of drag it. Awesome. So once you're happy with the flowers, you can go ahead and do another base coat of your cacti. If you like some of the blue shining through like I do, you can leave it or you can give it a second coat of paint. It's up to you. Uh, but in certain areas, you can add some separate colors. So I'm mixing some yellow with blue. I have a little extra blue to kind of create this lime green. And I'm just going to add some highlights to my cacti just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to keep my brighter or lighter colors on the left side of the painting. So this is just some highlights and then I'm curving it towards the top. and then kind of bringing it straight down. And you can blend it in with water or you can just kind of dry brush it and lightly sort of feather it like what I'm doing. Okay, so that's like that cacti, I think it looks good. So I, I can just leave it like that if I'm happy with it. And for the next one, I'm gonna take some of my phthalo blue with some of the yellow that I have on my brush. And I can just add layer some other colors and it's okay if it's not the same color matched perfectly it's just going to be little areas of interest or highlights on your cactus and then with our lighter cactus you can mix some yellow with the white this time and 
And I've added quite a bit of water to my paint, so it's creating this wash, which you can try. I'm using my flat one inch brush. So, once you're happy with your painting, you've added some highlights, some different greens to each individual cactus, you can stop anytime that you're happy with it. Or you can keep going and keep layering and mixing greens. And if you need more help mixing greens, you can watch my mixing greens video which i have linked below in the description all right so now that we're happy with our greens we can go ahead and add our little prickles all right so to do our prickles i'm using my thin fine detail brush. It's round. It comes to a point. You want to keep your brush kind of wet so that the bristles always stay together. I'm using a burnt umber color, but you could also use black if you would like to. And you just want to make sure that you keep your kind of prickles the same length and the same thickness the best you can. And we're just going to kind of do them in columns. So these are going to kind of be slanted upwards to the right. And then when we get to the other side, they're going to be slanted in the opposite direction. So I'm just trying to paint them as evenly spaced as I can. It's okay if they're not perfect, that's fine. And you can let them kind of go off the edge of the canvas as well. You can paint some so that they're kind of sticking off like that. So then we can paint some the other direction over here and you can just keep going Try to keep them as evenly spaced and as close to the same length and thickness as possible. And you can do some more this way. So for the next one, I think I'm going to use a white that I have. This is kind of a metallic-y white, so you can use any kind of light color. For these um, prickles, I'm going to make little tiny V's 
like that. And I'm just gonna make a bunch of them. It helps to kind of rest your arm somewhere so that you can kind of make them similar size. These ones, you can just kind of place them randomly and you can kind of choose what prickles you want to add because it's your cactus. But I'm just gonna show you different types and then you can pick the kinds that you like doing. And we're gonna paint them in different directions over on this side. Gonna have them kind of go off the cactus into the sky as well. So just keep going, fill your cactus, kind of space them out where you see fit. And don't be afraid to make them kind of stick off the edge. You can kind of have some going straight up and down as well. You kind of get to the middle. make a mistake you can always paint over it or do any touch-ups later so don't worry too much about that um, so if you're looking at your painting and any are kind of bothering you and standing out too much, you can just take some paint that's kind of a similar color and just paint over them or just kind of wipe it off with your finger, blend it. And you can just try again over top.
Awesome. So that is our second type of the little prickles. Again, you can just kind of fix up whatever you're not happy with. So for our next type, we're just going to do some kind of thicker um, prickles. I'm going to use black because it is a darker green that I'm using. So they're going to be harder to see if I used a lighter color. Um, but if you want like more contrast, you could use a white or the kind of silver color that I used beside it. So I'm just going to make these prickles a bit longer and a bit thicker and I'm going to kind of place them more randomly and less in columns like I did with the last one, the first one. Alright, and our last one is going to kind of be like the first one, so we're just going to do little lines. I'm using black again, and I'm just going to try to keep them the same length as much as possible. Then this has a nice contrast because it's a nice dark against my light green. I'm just going to try to keep them evenly spaced. you want you could use a ruler and make lines with a piece of chalk and then just wipe the chalk away after. And then on the other side I'm just going to go in the other direction. Again, it helps to have a little bit of a wet brush just to help the paint stay nice and smooth. And I'm just kind of resting my arm to help me have more control of the little lines that I'm doing. Awesome. So there we have our lovely cactus painting. Again, it's okay if it doesn't look like mine. You can use the colors of paint that you have and choose how many cacti you want, how big they are, how many flowers you want, etc. If you want to add little pots to set them in at the bottom, paint little terracotta pots, you could do that as well. You could play around with your background color and just experiment and have fun with it. So if you use this painting, be sure to like it, leave me a comment below. You can tag me on Instagram at Jackie Partridge Art. I would love to see what you create and leave you a comment on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Happy painting.
Bye.